but El Hawa named after the Sufi Sheikh Abu El Hawa is a site on the western bank of the Nile, opposite Aswan, that serves as the resting place of ancient nobles and priests from the Old, Middle, and New Kingdoms. The necropolis was used until the Roman period as a burial site. Then it hosted two Coptic churches and a Sufi dome of historical significance. According to Egyptologist Basim El Sharkawi, the site contains 96 attested tombs of nobilities. The recent digs of a Spanish team have uncovered an ancient tomb whose chapel was oriented toward the sunrise on the winter solstice. This could be the oldest of its kind in Egypt. This is the tomb's chapel, part of which is seen here. A statue of a governor was supposed to be placed in here, and the chapel is aligned in such a way that the statue would be bathed with sunlight during the winter solstice. The tomb, near modern day Aswan, was built during Egypt's 12th dynasty, part of a time period called the Middle Kingdom the age of the tomb is 3,800 year old. The site held the burials of two governors, but grave robbers plundered many of the artifacts placed in the tomb, including the governor's mummies. Both governors were in charge of the nearby town of Elephantine, although at different times. The tomb's chapel contains a niche that was originally intended to hold a statue of the governor who built the tomb but it was never completed according to study co-author Alejandro Jimenez Serrano. Just outside the tomb, the team found an unfinished statue that was supposed to be put in the niche, it's not clear why the site was left unfinished. The entranceway to the chapel was built in such a way that the rays of the sun could enter and light the chapel during the winter solstice, which occurs annually on December 21. In effect, had it been completed, the governor's statue and chapel would have been bathed in light during the sunrise of every winter solstice, the day with the fewest hours of daylight. The winter solstice had an important meaning for the ancient Egyptians. The winter solstice marked the beginning of the daily victory of light against darkness, culminating in the summer solstice the longest day of the year. Moreover, the solstice was seen as a moment of renewal. After the winter solstice the days begin to be longer, which was interpreted as a rebirth. Egyptologist Wallace Budge first found the tomb in 1885, but it was not excavated again until 2008. Research is ongoing, and the team is examining other tombs in the necropolis, 